guys um it's melina i'm back again with a, another video um so i know the last time that i uploaded a video was like the beginning of last year and i just really wanted to keep doing youtube and a lot just happened last year and a lot of mental health issues prevented me from my throat hurts i'm sorry um, a lot of mental health issues just prevented me from like doing what I needed to do and so doing what I wanted to do which was YouTube was just not an option so now that I'm in a better place and I feel like I can really do this channel I figured I would just do a video okay so I have an eye appointment at 12 30 it is 11 18 so I have less than an hour to do a full face of makeup and put my wig on so let's see how this goes this is brow gel it's from elf and it is in medium brown and i'm also going to be using my elf instant lift brow pencil so i'm just lining the shape of my brow And I'm not lining it all the way up to the front because I don't want it to like look like a block. So I like started like halfway in my brow. And I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the pencil and fill in my brow. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to my other brow and then I'm going to shape up and conceal. Okay, now brows are done, and they do not look bad. I don't think they look bad. I don't do my brows very often, so I feel like we're just going to stick with this. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Looks like that. I'm just going to put it... Excuse my hair, by the way. Um, as I said before, I'm going to be putting on a wig. So my hair is like braided back. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my Fit Me. Um, my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and this is in Toffee, 330 Toffee, and this is for normal to dry skin so it leaves a dewy smooth finish. And I'm just going to be using um, this knockoff beauty blender. So I'm going to go back in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in 40 Caramel. I used this to um, clean up my brows as well so I'm just going to use it again for my under eyes.
Okay, and then I am going to be using my CoverGirl True Blend Minerals. Um, this is a loose mineral powder. It's in 600 banana. I look literally insane. Now I'm going to start my eyeballs. So usually I would prime with concealer and then just set that with um, the loose powder. But I think today I'm just going to use this um, NYX eyeshadow base and it is in white of course. Alright, I just dusted that off because I don't really need it. I'm going to keep this here so that it catches any fallout from my eyeshadow. I recommend that you do that, especially if you're using eyeshadows that are really powdery or have a lot of fallout so that it doesn't mess up your, um, your face makeup. So you just leave loose powder there and then it catches all of the fallout and then once you're done with your eyes, you just wipe it off and then all of the fallout are gone too and your eye makeup, not your eye makeup, your face makeup stays intact. Probably for the majority of this look, the oh my god, the 3502 palette. This was the sequel to the 350 palette because of how popular it was. So as you can see, it's gorgeous. It's very, very neutral, but is very, very, very warm. So I think I'm gonna go for a really nice, like bronzy kind of look. I don't really know if I want to do eyeliner. I almost always do eyeliner with any look that I ever do, but I don't know if I want to do that today. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll just go in and see what happens. I'm gonna go into this pointed um, blending brush and I'm going to go into a blaze. I don't know if you can see it or not, you can see it. Yeah, I'm gonna go into a blaze and I'm going to put that in my crease and it will not be as my transition color. It's going to be my crease color. My transition color is going to go above that. All right, so next I'm going to go into the shade called Orb, and that is going to be my transition shade. So that is going to go above the shade that I just put in my crease. So I'm just picking that up, and this beauty blender, not a beauty blender, why am I illiterate? This blending brush is, um, it has more like of a rounded out tip, it's not as pointy, um, so it's going to be better to do buffing and blending of that crease shade that I put. Um, and because I'm going above my crease, I don't need to like get into any folds or anything. I think I'm gonna go in with Brick. I'm gonna go in with Brick, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of what's right below it. Rich, so Brick and Rich. And I'm going to put those on my outer V using this brush, and then I will blend it with this blending brush I used for my transition shade. And I'm not putting any more product on this. I'm only gonna use this brush to put on the product, and then this to blend in both.
All right, so now for my lid. And then we're going to finish my face and my under eye and we're gonna call it a day and I'm gonna put my wig on and I'm gonna leave because I'm about to be late. I'm using this flat shader brush and let's see what lid color I'm feeling to play. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit of rustic and also go in with this top shade bronze. I'm gonna mix those up, put them on my lid, and I'm not gonna do a cut crease or anything because I don't have that kind of time. That takes me a really long time to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and put rustic on my brush first, and then a little bit of bronze, and then one swipe of rustic again. And I'm not gonna go all the way to my outer eye. I'm gonna stop about three fourths because remember when we put that um, brick shade, we put it a little bit inward. And so it'll be a nice flow from our lid shade. And I'm just packing it and packing it on my lid and then you guessed it, I'm taking that blending brush again and I'm just going to soften up where it meets my crease and soften up where it meets my outer eye. And All right, so liner is very hard for some people. For some people, it's extremely easy. For me, it took me a very long time to learn how to perfect it, and I still don't have it perfected. So, yeah. Actually, the first thing that we can do is... Uh, wipe that off. And see, I feel like it leaves such a nice... It probably looks super, super light on the camera. It does. It looks really, really light. But in person, it does not look anywhere near that bad. I promise and plus I still have to go in with my face powder which is gonna calm it down a lot yes yeah, see it looks super light on camera but I promise you it's not that bad I promise you probably don't trust me but it's okay it's okay I trust you it's okay there's something wrong with me okay so I always start with the wing Okay, in the words of Bob Ross, no mistakes, just happy accidents. Oh my God, it is 12 3, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's nowhere near as sharp as this one is, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it because that's what happens when you're in a rush and you wake up late. I was supposed to wake up at nine, I woke up at 11. Okay, so. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is the Set and Smooth it's for normal to dry skin. This is in 355 Coconut. And I am taking my Morphe brush and I'm just going to go in there. I love all of the Maybelline Fit Me products. If you haven't noticed yet, as I use their foundation, their concealer and their powder, um, I really love their Fit Me collection. Um, it's super affordable and also is like, like has, they have products for people with normal to dry skin, um, normal to oily and like they're, they're good products. Like they're worth the, the price that you pay. And as you see, I'm just using the Morphe brush to just stipple it in to set my foundation and also to why does it look it looks so bad on the camera my under eye i mean 
And so I'm using this brush and see it looks a little better now. I told you guys when I went in with this powder it was going to calm everything down. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to use this much, much tinier pencil brush from Morthy, and I'm going to go in with the brick, and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. And then in addition to that, I'm going to go back into bronzy, which was the um, one of the shades we used on the lid, and I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner. So I'm going to put on mascara, and I'm going to be using a combo of the Benefit Roller Lash and my um, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. These two are must-haves, especially the Better Than Sex, but. going to go ahead and zoom you guys out it probably looks so like white and casty it probably looks absolutely horrible I promise it is not that bad let me see if turning down the brightness helps I don't know if it does or not I think I still look like like a white ghost and I, I promise I don't I'm gonna post pictures or something next to this because I don't want you guys to think that I am literally doing this channel not knowing what I'm doing I know what I'm doing I I, I do I do. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Wet n Wild bronzer. This is in white, what, what shady beaches, maybe? I'm just going to start off light and see how this goes. And so now I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to use my, I'm going to go ahead and use this Morphe um, blush brush and I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild um, blush in the color Icon blush and this is in Mellow Wine. Very pigmented, very strong, so be careful if you use it. I literally am dipping it in there twice and... Okay, and then my favorite part, highlighter. I'm using, I just got this, it is the ColourPop. Um, it's a cream highlighter. Um, it is in Flexitarian, and so it's kind of silver, but as you can see, like, it comes off on my finger, and then when I rub, it really comes off on my finger. And so I'm just gonna use my finger to And then I'm just going to use this brush to blend that out a little bit because I definitely did put a lot. But you can never use too much highlighter. <laughs> And then, over top of that, because it is so silver, I'm going to use a blush. This is an IBY Beauty blush. It is in, it's a mineral press brush in peach sheen. And so I'm gonna use that same brush I was using before. And be careful, because it's a blush, so it's super pigmented. And I'm gonna go right over top of that and give it a little more like color. It gives it like a, sort of like a honey peach color. Maybe that's why it's called Peach Sheen. And yeah, look how cute that is. I'm sorry, my hair is a freaking mess. I'm gonna embarrass myself. Okay, and then on moving to lips, because I think that's the only thing else I have to do. I am going to go ahead and use this Fenty lip gloss. This is in Fenty Glow. 
and go in with a tiny bit of that. And then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. lip liquor. It is in clear. And then last but not least, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. makeup and mist set to set my face. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my wig on, put on deodorant, you know, all that fun stuff, and then I'll be right back before I leave. So, as you guys may or may not be able to tell, this is, oh my. Okay, this is me in my finished look. I told you that in that light, it looked a lot worse, and it looked like I was really pale and white, but this is what it looks like on my brows. My eyeballs, ignore that eyeliner. And yeah, see, it looks, it, in natural daylight, it really, it looks fine. It looks like this. It doesn't look white and casty. I don't look pale. So yeah. This is me. All right, so I'm gonna go off and head to my eye appointment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to click the subscribe button, like this video, and leave comments of any more videos you'd like to see, any tutorials, send me pictures, send me DMs. I'll put all of my social medias in the description box down below. I'm gonna go, I'm totally late. Thank you guys for watching, bye, I love you.